Usually when I eat hearts, they're uh, raw, freshly pulled from the flesh of my enemies. <laughs> We've never done anything like this. It's an amazing place. Thank you, Canada! I am Tamika Lamison, and I am the founder of Make a Film Foundation. Basically, we find kids who have a film dream. Normally, they are terminally ill, and they get to write and star in their film with famous people, and we get famous people to direct. My sister's got a heart of gold, and I love her very much. And this trip could not be coming at a better time. So my brother Cleve lives in New York. He's this amazing artist. <laughs> I would love to spend quality time with him in a way that I don't think we've really gotten to in a long time. I'm very excited to go to Newfoundland and Labrador. I hope that I get to learn something about Canada, that I see a beautiful place, that I get a little bit of balance and fun in my life. And of course, fun with my brother. <laughs> You guys want to jump in there and chat a little bit on you? Before? Are you getting okay. the hard stuff? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, I don't uh, know the official way to do it. I you just... can do it however you like. That's one of the okay. things we do here at Mallard Cottage. There's no right or wrong way. Okay. Right. On the side, we're going to do a little moose heart. Cleve, I don't know if you're, uh, hopefully you're going to be interested in giving this a whirl. Oh, I'm going to eat the hell out of that yeah. moose heart. <laughs> I think that I always knew that Newfoundland and Labrador was eventually going to be discovered by the world. Given that we're in North America, we are so close to, you know, you know Toronto, Montreal, New York, Boston, but yet you step off that plane in St. John's or Gander or Lab City, and I mean, like I said, you're transported to a different place, different time. Yes. Yeah. You know, like it's dramatic, it's wild, there's oceans, there's cliffs and... Historically, in Newfoundland and Labrador, you could not survive here without your neighbor. So, it, like the whole cooking outside, what is it? What is it? Uh, boil up. Boil up, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's obviously a rural environment, most of the island. You know, people have a strong connection with the outdoors yes. and, and whatnot. So, I think, you know, in a world where everyone's on their phone and everyone is kind of under social media and stuff like that, the idea that you can literally go back to something that's an element right. is something that people lack. Yeah, we've gotten pretty far away from uh, yeah, you know, some basic things. See, your moose hair is done, Cleve. It's looking good. Oh, thank you. Usually when I eat hearts, they're uh, raw, freshly pulled from the flesh of my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Todd genuinely is one of the most authentic people that I have ever met. And he told some really incredible stories about his journey as a chef and his journey as a human being. I love stories and I love connecting to people. I think that one of the greatest ways and easiest ways to sit down across from somebody and have a conversation with them is over a plate of food. Well, it definitely comes through in talking to you and also in eating your food. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about how this land informs the people, how it affects them. Like I've really started to question how would I as a New Yorker move through the world differently than somebody here. It's a whole different sort of ecology. And, uh, you know, it's working its magic. <laughs>